Hello, so this message is for Hillary Clinton, and these are some thoughts to think about in your running for office, and how I feel as a wavering Democrat um, about where I want to cast my vote, and also hopefully an inspiration to the rest of humanity of how important your vote is. So, first and foremost, we're going to talk about the two people that are running for the Democratic Party, Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders. Now, the pros and cons of Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders. I like Bernie Sanders. To me, Bernie Sanders seems approachable. He seems like a person of the people. He seems genuine. He seems, um, you know, someone I can trust. Uh, someone who stands for his beliefs, someone who's strong in his beliefs. I may not agree with many of his beliefs, but he's strong in his beliefs. I think, for me, Perhaps Bernie Sanders goes a little too far in some issues. Um, so I think that the question becomes, and the, the other question is, does Bernie Sanders have the power to be able to really become a nominee uh, economically and, and whatnot? And, or will he just become someone who steals votes from Hillary and, and uh, therefore allowing somebody else to win? And, uh, cause Bernie Sanders is, I think he's running within the Democratic Party. I don't know if he's gonna, have, if, if whatever happens, if he's gonna, what his choices are gonna be afterwards. So that leaves all up in the air. And, you know, so there's that element. Now, Hillary Clinton, I like Hillary Clinton, but as Saturday Night Live has made several jokes about, she comes off cold and she comes off needy. Like she, like she like this is her like she's entitled to be president um you know we're not even going to talk about jeb bush <laughs> that's a whole other video um but so hillary there's those elements within hillary she comes off cold unapproachable and um what is it uh really wanting this like she did it tried it before and she really wanted this now so those are the two issues that I think Hillary needs to address. And I think she needs to put them to bed and transform them. The way she could transform the first one, the whole seeming cold, is Hillary come knocking on people's doors and be like, what's up? It's Hillary Clinton. We're going to put this up on YouTube and we're going to sit down and have a conversation about what you want for America. And, or maybe even screen people and be like, okay, who do we think, you know, and then, Talk, let them know in advance or just knock on their door and be like hey what's up it's hillary clinton we're just here to find out what americans want for america uh, what americans want for america there you go it's just a moment about seeing what do we want for america and have that conversation as someone who's running for president and i think that would just be an amazing people would just go nuts they would like subscribe to the you need to focus a lot of energy into the youtube and in the, to that conversation into having a conversation no one has done that yet so there's that element and then the element of seeming needy yes of course you seem needy and you need to seem needy we need a female president very simple we need a mother we've had fathers who've managed and now it's time for a mother who oftentimes manages the household to manage our country i think it's a very simple of course you seem needy i was like we need you you know that we need you you know that we need a female president. So I think transforming that into that passion, into the passion of having a female, of feeling empowered as a woman and wanting to be the president uh, because you are the best person for the job and also because you're a woman. I don't think that we should negate that at all. I think it should be one of the leading elements of the topic in the conversation that we're having. So those are my recommendations to you, Hillary Clinton. Knock on my door. We'll sit down. Have some coffee. I only have instant coffee. Or you can bring your own pot. I would love to travel with you. I would love to travel with you on your bus in the Scooby van or whatever that is. And I think also including people within, like, my mother. You know, my mother, I think, would be an imperative element of your campaign because she is a teacher. And she is teaching children become better human beings. And she's an amazing teacher. I cannot, I, the love I have for my mother, not just because she's my mother, because of what an amazing channel she is, highly recommend 
having a conversation with her and taking her with you. She's a huge fan of yours, by the way. She loves you. You guys would be like super besties. Um, so that's what I recommend. Okay. Um, I be do believe that you have a strong chance. Uh, I don't think that anybody in the Republican Party, maybe that guy, uh, the Rand Paul guy, maybe, but the rest of them, I just wouldn't even consider. I don't even understand how any of America would even consider anybody else. So thank you for listening, and I wish you a wonderful year. Take care.